What's up guys and welcome back to Days Gone. This is episode number three. Really quick, if you missed the last two episodes, I highly suggest you watch them because they were crazy good, especially the last one. We now know that Nero is up to something. Um, I, I think so far Nero is pretty much the government and we did kind of listen in on their little thing that they had going on when they came in the chopper and we were able to get some additional information. Um, O'Brien is in fact alive. And that, to me, is very, very, very interesting. I'm just excited to keep playing this for you and pretty much just discover what's going to happen next in this story. So, welcome back again, and I uh, hope you enjoy your stay. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe. And uh, if you want me to just keep pumping out these Days Gone episodes, all you have to do is leave a like, and that lets me know you guys just want them faster and faster. One thing I did want to show you is... Uh, which I find very interesting, and I like it's like this. When you go to the map, you have several story missions, and these story missions are pretty much um, just give you the flexibility to do whatever the heck you really want to do. Um, you don't have to do them in chronological order. You could do this one, then this one, and then the last one, or the other way around, and I think that's really cool. That way, not everybody's playthrough is the same. Now, you also have here your stories, and you can also just select them from this. So you have uh, different types of story, like he's my brother. This has to do with uh, clearing out the nest of the freaks and then gear up for the ride. This obviously has to do with us heading north with our brother-in-law, Boozer, and then chasing Leon is pretty much completing uh, the story of Leon and what he was hiding from that little map that we got uh, and possibly getting more information. Then we have Infestation Exterminator. This is where you clear out the nest, I, I would assume, or maybe something a little bit different. And the last one is World's End, which is... Uh, I believe something to do with Nero and I think to this point right now they're pretty much the government. Let's do this. We are going to go right now to this one right here. He's my brother. I'm going to do all three of them chronologically from closest to furthest and uh, yeah. I don't know why my bike is not making any noise. Hold on. Is my engine okay? I think it is. All right? All right. There we go. Probably just a little simple bug. They are going to do a patch update on this, I believe, by the time you guys get your hands on it. So, remember, this is early. Yeah, definitely not, not going to do that. Should we do it? Should we literally do that? Should we go for the leap? The leap of faith. Let's go for it. Yeah, that was not a good idea. Yeah, not, not a good, that was probably not the best idea, especially now because we've spawned in into the same spot, but it's now nighttime, which is a lot more dangerous, uh, and that's not good. <laughs> that is definitely not good, boys. Okay, we're going to keep going here. I'm going to go to this destination, and hopefully everything is smooth. Hopefully it's smooth sailing from here on out. Okay, let's do this. I really like the fact that. Ranger camp. Bunch of mean sons of bitches, aren't you? I'm the ambush as you said this week, huh? Oh, snap. Dude, you gotta be careful with those snipers, man. Oh, crap! What the hell? Yo, what the crap? Oh, my God. No, 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 no. I want nothing to do with you guys. Please, please. Oh, dear. Please. Oh my god. Oh lord. That That is horrible. That is freaking horrible. Did you guys see that? He just sniped me off my freaking motorcycle. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was kinda cool. But still. Okay, this is it. Yeah, oh, this camp is gonna be crawling. Oh, yeah, going on foot. Nice and quiet. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that we are ready to go. Grab some stuff here. All right. Here we go, boys. So what do we have to do here? Okay. Oh, there's got to be a nest in this shack. Hmm. So freaker infestations. Freaker infestations are highly dangerous areas where freakers... Uh, congregate to build their nests to hibernate during the day. Clear all nests and infestations to create a fast travel waypoint. Oh, good. Interesting. Okay, so does the map tell me where this is at? 
Is it this one? No, that's a hunter's camp. Clear out those nets. Six, clear the logging camp. Okay, you boys just keep right on sleeping. Don't pay no attention to me. Okay, where's the nest? I don't see it. Oh, it's right here. Okay, here it is. So, I'm assuming we just gotta get a Molotov. And burn it. Fire in the hole. Okay. Come on, boys and girls. Let's do this. Nest destroyed. Oh, oh crap. Left. Holy crap. I thought he was dead, so... Oh, God. Jesus, will you die? Down you go. Yo, uh, my boy Deke, why you gotta scream so much, man? This guy literally screams for everything. Okay, I'm gonna get this bow again. See if I can hit him. Okay, one nest done. How many more you got? I'm out, literally. Come on. All right. Want to play rough? Oh, that was easy. Oh, he was already weak from the from the from the from the crossbow. Come here, sweetie. You looking like you looking like a snack? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You do not look like a snack at all. You actually look like a rotten piece of snack. You guys. You guys think you just come here and live in this little house? This poor house? Yeah. Ooh. Can make something out of this. Nest residue is crafting ingredient combined with a bolt to. Oh, interesting. So you're telling me these people cooking everything? Why is there a freaking cedar uh sapling and uh okay. Alright, so let's see where the other ones are at. Let's go this way. There's probably another one in here. Or is that it? Did we do that already? No, not yet. We have not. One here. Yep. There's another one here. Okay, so that means we can uh, re-up on our... Molotov, right? Yep. Okay, here we go. Just gotta do this. I like that. Huh? Nice Come on, you sons of bitches. Come on. Yo, my boy Deke, you're scaring me, bro. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. How about this? How about that, punks? Huh? You like that? You like it? Cause I freaking love it. Another nest. Good last. Well, let's go in here and see if we can get some more weapons, ammunition. Hoping that this clears out soon. The fire. Okay, we'll come back for that. I guess it's not going to clear out there? right now. Uh, we need to find another one of these nests here. Another nest right... Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! What is this? Nice. Oh, more bandages. Cool. There's another nest nearby. Oh no, that's an ex that's flammable. There's gotta be more nests around here. Need to find more nests. Where are they? I would like to say they may be around here, this side. Maybe we just gotta keep going. I hope there is, because there's six of them. We've only seen two of them. Oh, where up? Yeah, it looks like the kind of place you want to call home, yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. God damn it, what you all shit yourself at once? Jesus Christ. Oh, God damn freaks. What the hell are you doing in here? Huh? This place is a death trap. Oh crap. Last one. Okay. I kind of like there's only three of them per nest. Because I know if not, it'd be crazy. Alright, so there's three more here. We found all of them. Okay. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. So 
is great. Um. What's this? Yeah, the other nest is upstairs. There's one nest here. Oh, this is gonna be wild. I gotta craft. Okay, one more. Come on, fellas. Oh shit. Okay, they take more bullets than I thought. Oh shit. That's right! Don't mess with me! Punks! My name is Deacon, remember the name! Dude, they sleep in a little ass nest, man. That's a little house. Oops, sorry. Okay, there he is. Yep. I don't want to get burnt, so. Nest destroyed. Okay, cool. There's another one. Let's see if we can pick up more. It's just one more, guys. Literally, just one more left. Let this one clear out. Oh, there was one here. Let me pick up the uh, residue from the nest. Now I can pick this residue up. And some ears for bounties, of course. And there's one more here. Craft the last one. Oh, yeah. Good. All right, clear out those nests. We got them. Copeland's camp. Trust. He's my brother, 29%. We have to keep him alive. Is that the last of them? <sighs> Finally. Good. All right, I'm going to wait for that to clear out so we can get whatever the hell that place has to offer. Boozer, it's done. I cleared those nests. Should be less freaks on the mountain from now on. Hey, Deke. How'd it go with her? With her lot of them? Yeah, but a- uh, Oh no, oh no. Yeah, but I wanted to clear him while it was still light out. You know how the sunlight bothers him. Yeah, that's, that's probably the way to do it. Anyway, thanks for, thanks for doing that, Deke. Okay, so definitely do it during the daytime. Shut up, Boozer. Deke and out. Okay, so this is the map. And for some reason, it keeps telling us to go here. Um, I'm probably going to do this one. And then I'm going to head out over there. That's what we're going to do. Mm. All right. Let's go. This one's closer. 500 meters away. Not too bad. Go ahead and go back to my bike. St. John. This is Copeland. I haven't seen Boozer in a few days. He used to do runs for me is all. I know you ride with him. Tried to radio him. Can't seem to reach him. Well, you see him, you tell him to swing by and say hello to Cope. I would much appreciate it. Cope went out. I feel like Cope is going to betray us at some point. I don't really like him. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, what the frick? Oh, come on. Not another freaking sniper. Jesus. It's already bad enough I have to worry about these damn freaking freaks. I just freaking bit my tongue. Oh, shit. Ow. <laughs> I bit my tongue. Oh. Sorry, guys. That's a little embarrassing. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. That son of a bitch, you radio me. Copeland out. I know. Because they came after me. 
I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van, moving from town to town. In the days before the roads came choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain to stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. No, Cope, the cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving, because if anyone had found your unmarked van, they'd have blown it to hell. Just so we wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I don't want to... There he is! I don't want to intervene with, uh, you know, with dialogue. So the biker bounty. Some bounty targets will stand and fight, others will flee. Chase your target down and capture them alive to complete the job. Ramming into and shooting their bike are the best options. You need to keep silver helmet, alive. red gas tank. That's it. Oh shit! What the hell! Holy crap! So you thought you'd ride into Copeland's camp, shoot the place up? That about right? Kill a few folks, take some shit, and just ride out. And just chop. Oh crap! Here we go. Oh god. Bike combat. While on the bike, L1 to a car to target and tap to fire your sidearm. Come here, you little shit. Well, you gotta wait for it to be, uh. Nice. Ah, I had to friggin' reload! No, 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 not my bike! No, no! Yeah! Damn it! Come here, you little punk! I'm gonna destroy that bike! Hey, asshole! Stop the damn bike! Oh, he's going into our camp. That's our friggin' camp right there. Go to hell, Drifter! Suck on it, you hear me? Oh no, ramming. I run out of bullets. Oh, are you serious right now? Good. Got the job done, kind of, sort of. What did you do, you son of a bitch? Hey, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, well, Coke kind of frowns on that. Not a fan of it myself. You want to know the truth. Give Drifters a bad name. Well, what if you'd shot Manny? You know, who fixed my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. <laughs> You are a Copeland's toadies, you little bitch! That's what you are, you little bitch! <laughs> He's calling me the B word. What a savage. All right, gear up for the ride, 67%. Custom skins. Nice. Copeland's and Catman custom accent. Oh, that's cool. Cope, it's done. I got him. Uh, you tell. Worked on these coordinates and sent your men out here. Is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. But I won't promise you how long he's gonna stay that way. Deacon out. You tell him, Drifter. You tell him I said go. Alright, so I leave him here. Alright, good. So we'll go back to the map and we'll go back now to the mission that we have to go do. And it's that one. That's a long drive over there. Alright. Boozer, you there? I'm just calling a check up on you. Yeah, dude, come here. You hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north, just like you said. Ah, so. God, I so. Just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we gotta stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Deacon out. All right, cool. Gonna go through the bridge again, through the tunnel. Let me see if there's uh, more ammunition here, because that... 
I'm a little low on everything, and I need gas. Look, my kid right here. I need this. All right, good. Is there more ammo here? I think there is, huh? Ammo, ammo, anybody please? Bandages? Well, there is. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. Freaking do this. Fill up the ammo. Good. Nice. And, um, there we go. I would go to sleep, to be honest, but I think we're okay. It's one of these freaks here. Um, I'm gonna kill him. Here we go. Nice. Now, there was gas somewhere here. I don't remember where the gas was. But I need gas for my bike. I don't know if I should kind of look for the tank. Or the gallon of gas, I mean. We never searched this body, did we? We did not. Well, one scrap. God, man, where's that freaking gallon? I need, I need, I need fuel. There it is. Perfect. I want to make sure this truck doesn't have anything in the back. Yes. Alright. Yeah, we needed the fuel. The last one wasn't that truck in the on the on the towing truck, but we already used that. And I don't know where I placed the last. So we had 29% and we gotta go pretty far. I wanna make sure I have enough fuel there. I wish you had kind of like some sort of storage on your bike so you can like this put the, radio free the gallon in the back. Truth shall set you free. Noise. And then proof that I was right. You thought Nero died out here like the rest of them, caving under their own stupidity. But no, like I said, they've been lying and wait all this time to they crawl up out of their holes and reclaim this world. But it ain't happening. Not on my watch. And don't go running towards him. Don't believe the lies. Jesus, Cope, they're not trying to reclaim shit. You don't have a damn clue what you're talking about. Well, except uh, yeah, they will shoot you on sight. Lucky guy. <laughs> The black helicopters. He's talking about the helicopters we saw in the last um, in the last episode, which were very, very uh, interesting indeed. And I personally myself want to find out more. So eventually we'll get there. Look at this road here, man. It's so beautiful. Oh no, took the wrong way. Can I go back down? You can really just get lost in this world, man. It's, it's a lot of things to just explore. I know some people said, oh, the zombies or the freaks, they don't look like much of a threat, but they really are, especially since after you get like further into the game. They're definitely a threat. Someone's trapped. I gotta help him. All right, let's help out this guy. <laughs> Let's help out the poor guy. Let's help him out. Come here. Come here, you little punk. Huh? You okay there, bud? Yeah, you don't... What? Where'd he go? Okay. Okay. I will go back, uh... Back to my happy merry way then. You're welcome, dude. You're welcome. Just instant transmission on me. That's totally fine. I wonder if we should... Yeah, I was about to say we should go through the lake, but that's way too deep. We're not going to make it out of there. Look at this, this freaking view, man. The, the planes of this game just like... 
Wow, man. The attention to detail on the road, it's beautiful. It really is. I love games like this, man. I'm sorry. All right, this looks like a... Uh, what the hell happened here? Somebody's been burning off the freaks. Hmm. This is another one of those camps. Okay. I come in peace. Hey guys, open the damn gate. Open up. It's that drifter. Let him in. <laughs> that drifter. Okay. Where's Tucker? Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? it? North one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. All right, a little bit of a temper there, Deke. I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm really liking you. Just kidding. I love that shit. You gotta be a savage in this world. East we go. Sorry. Don't mean to run all over your gardening. What's up? I keep telling you. Everywhere you look, it's all one Jesus. giant lava field. Arthur Morgan here? 25 or what? feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But. These people are hungry, even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit. We're all hungry, Al. But this job's got to get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will you, Al? I got things to do. Rippers, this morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. What the fuck are you up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alki. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig. But you want me out there in the shit, chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't. <laughs> Beat your ass. Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. <laughs> how long has it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? <laughs> because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna... Head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not I Boozer's old lady. Myself. He goes where he wants. So <laughs> Jesus. You keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? 
When it's all gone, what are you going to put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise. It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. You got a pretty good camp here, though. Here. I mean... Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the past. <laughs> Back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Forks, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like. But he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Kentucky, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. Find Alkai. I gotta go find Wheeler. Price on Someone your head. No, 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 no. I'm getting the work. Oh, what's going on there? No! Damn it! Stop! Stop! Knock it off! Okay, you're getting your yeah, ass kicked. Okay. Sorry about that, bud, but... Alkai. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped a ripper camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if he'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, <laughs> what's it got to do with me? The ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Yeah, why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Alright, so the merchant. We got weapon supplies and locker. Weapons. Um, this is looking pretty good. All of these are locked, though. Primary... 22 repeater. Ooh, man, this is freaking cool. Look at this. The M40? What? Nice. Supplies, we got ammo. Can I get anything else for you? Um, Pistol ammo. We have that already. This is the locker. It looks like this is just the place where you come and you uh get what? any weapons and... Whatever you buy stays in your locker. Like if you find a weapon from the ground, it won't be in your locker. That's why this that's what they said in the beginning of the game. So that's something to always keep in mind. Like I could find an AK-47 right now. If I go to a locker, it's not gonna be stored there. Because I found it. Let me see the mechanic. Can we do something with the mechanic? Maybe it's not letting me right now because it's not part of the Okay. Let's see. No, I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Hmm, bring the drug stash to Tucker. Alkai has weapons for sale that are better than yours. Bring the stash to Copeland. Manny promised to help restore your piece of ship bike. I'm not gonna lie, I'd rather have weapons. We can't head north until we get better gear. Tucker it is. So we're gonna give to Tucker. I'd rather have a better gun. Hey, Tuck. You get my drugs from Leon? Yeah. Yeah, Cope wanted me to sell to him, but uh, I know who my friends are. Huh, you got that right. 
Go see Alkai. I heard Larson brought in a stash of shotguns and rifles. Maybe he's got something you can use. I see how this is going to create a conflict. You have two parties that you're pretty much stuck in between the middle of both of them. I can definitely see how this can be an issue. Well, price on your head. Hot Springs and Chasing Leon now is 83%. Trust increased. Hot Springs level 1 friendly. Alright, let's... Let's go here. See, we got some new guns. Maybe now we can get Need this. anything? Uh, How's life in the hot springs? Okay. Um. Okay. Can merchants sell ammo, supplies, weapons? If you have any enough credits, trust. Uh, Need supplies, weapons. Hmm. We can probably get this. Should we? Should we? Oh, look at this sniper though. <gasps> Oof. A thousand, dude. I'm gonna buy this right there. Good piece. And I'm gonna buy this. You could use a gun like that. Nice. All right, good. So now we have, um, here. Good as new. Suppressor. Nice. Primary suppressor. Do you good out there? And this is M40 clip upgrade. This is freaking good. Now we go to the locker, and these are the ones that we fought. So we're going to have the tw uh, 22 repeater here, pistol, and then you have the bow and the sniper. I mean, the sniper could be good. Poor condition. Well, that's dumb. Good in stealth situations. As versatility goes up, the more bolts you can craft. Yeah, I'm going to keep the bow for now. I'll probably use the Find sniper later on. Else. Yeah, I didn't know. Okay, get out of the way. I didn't know that the sniper was going to be less rarity than the the freaking crossbow. If I would have known. Can I help you? Get the lead out. Hey, what's up? Okay. Camp for something specific. Refuel. I don't have a lot of money actually. Come back soon. It's your bike, right? <sighs> Stuff's getting scarce. See ya. Later. So he just refueled my freaking gas. Is that it? That's all he did. Okay, we got some bounties over here. Let's go check out the bounty. Oh. Hey, uh, I haven't seen Boozer around much lately. Yeah, he's around. I guess he's just been doing more work for Copeland lately. <laughs> you tell him I said get off his ass and do some work for me. Yeah, I'll let him know. Okay. It's funny how you can... Mm -hmm. Right. Later, man. You see how back. everybody's asking about Boozer, and we're pretty much protecting him because obviously he's kind of handicapped right now with that messed up arm. That's why Deacon is pretty much telling everybody that he's like out at Copeland's camp or whatnot. The kitchen. What is this? So, camp kitchen. Meat and plants can be collected and turned into enchant. Oh. Ooh. Okay. That's all I got today. Cool. All right. So what happens when we... Let me see. Do we have any skills that we can upgrade here? No. Anything else? Purchase. Fight and flight. Move and aim a ranged weapon when, uh, with more precision. Ability to follow a melee attack with a ranged attack for massive damage. Ooh, this is getting interesting. Field repairs. Ability to repair melee weapons with scraps. Uh, improves the initial recovery of duration of stamp. Yes. Yes, this is definitely something that I need. Perfect. Access the survivor wheel with O1. Select the stamina cocktail and consume it with R2. Skill tier 2 unlocked. Damn, I like how you can upgrade your stuff, man. That's freaking cool. All right, so we're going to end it here. Um, I think the next episode, I know exactly what I'm going to do. But I think this is the perfect spot to end it. I mean, we've pretty much... Uh, we've done three side missions or two side missions. They're all missions, but... We've pretty much uh, done the three that were available in the map. And then next up, um, we'll continue it on the next episode and see what, what the game story has to reveal for us. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Days Gone. As always, if you are enjoying the playthrough and want more episodes faster, all you have to do is leave a like on this one. And thank you for watching. I'll catch you later.